Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson of this course. And this is the seventh lesson. So let's begin. This is about me. I'm a poet, a traveler, a student of English literature from University of Delhi. I love to sing and listen to guzzles. And then finally, I finished watching Harry Potter. So I know this is a kind of relief to all of you and to me. So there is a slight change in the slide. Okay, something changed in the slide finally. So I finished watching Harry Potter series. And uh, yeah, this will never change. So rate, review, recommend and share my videos. And if you have anything to say, if you have any suggestion to make, like I have been getting some suggestion from a particular individual and I really appreciate that. So if you also have any suggestion to make, so please make it in the comment section below and I'll reply to it as soon as possible. So let's begin. Our first word from SSC CGL 2012 examination is archive. And it literally means a collection of historical documents or records. The part of speech is noun. And let's see the mnemonics uh, that I have developed here. Arc, you all know is arc is something that is related to history and there are many kinds of arc that are made. So arc can, you can use arc as a link to the historical reference that is there in the meaning of archive. So arc of historical times where historical records and documents reside. So imagine there's an arc of historical times that was from some kind, some time in history that, that was built then and it is there where historical records and documents reside this arc is called archive so any place where historical documents or records reside that place automatically becomes an archive so that is how you can link arc with archive with history so all the three going side by side and this is an image of one such archive where there is a lot of historical material there. So archive generally is of historical documents, but it necessarily doesn't mean that it should only be of historical documents. It can be a collection of any kind of document and uh, of a particular subject. So there's a difference between library and archive. Archive is not usually for uh, public use and archive is more secret so that is one difference that is there between an archive and library so let's go and see the next word our next word is ambiguous ambiguous literally means there are two meanings so the first meaning which relates to the language means having more than one meaning so something uh, which is ambiguous may may have more than one meaning will have more than one meaning i'll say and also something that is unclear because not distinguishing between alternatives so uh, something which is not between the two extremes it's not a neither black nor white so it's some something gray so that gray thing is called ambiguous it does not have a clearly defined boundary it does not have a clearly defined uh, alternative so it is not between the two alternatives it is somewhere in between it is actually not the two alternatives it is somewhere in between so that is it and the part of speech is adjective so mnemonic here is I am by by you all know is two so by gemi binomial so all the things related to by binary so these are by means in each, the root word by means two so i am by that means two meaning so i am by the ambiguous a m b i so here i am by will get you confused between both of us so ambiguous is something that gets you confused so you're not clear as to whether we have to place this into the this category or that category or somewhere in between so that is a characteristic of something that is ambiguous and cause I am ambiguous. So I am by to will get you confused between both of us 
because I am ambiguous. I am, you will see this, this am, this am here is uh, actually making up for both the things I am and also the am in ambiguous. So you have to remember that this by is actually two and it can be more than two. So multiple meanings and this am stands for I am and you have to remember this word confused between both. So if you remember these three lines, you can remember the word, its spelling and also the meaning of the word. And this picture shows some performers dancing and they are actually performing some moves that are not very clear. You cannot distinguish as to which kind of dance this is. So that is why this dance may be called ambiguous. So let's go to the next word. Our third word again from the same examination is obsolete. Obsolete means no longer produced or used out of date. And the photograph of this, uh, what we said, see it, it is, it was so long ago used that I cannot recall what we actually said to this. Actually they were called cassettes. So cassettes are there and this, this was used when I was a kid, yeah, I used it. So this was used at that time and now nobody uses it anymore. So it has become obsolete. And the part of speech is adjective. The mnemonic here um, says the two O's in obsolete first and the second, the two O's in me are for out of date. So the first word O is out and the second, second is off. So the two O's in me are for out of day. The one L here, this L, sorry, this L shows that I am now late. So somebody who is late is no more, is dead. So this thing is no more, it's dead. It's a thing of past and we can no longer meet cause I am obsolete. So we can no longer meet. That is uh, the thing obviously is not in existence and it may have, there may be samples of uh, some of it, but like typewriter, you can find some samples of typewriter here and there, but it is no longer in use. So that is, how, that is why we can say that typewriter has become obsolete. And this is the mnemonic here. So let's go on to the next word. Our fourth word again from the same examination is regicide. Regicide means the killing of a king. The part of speech here is noun and the mnemonic here is a bit funny. So it goes, I mean, I have mixed Hindi and English. So the first part is obviously Hindi and it goes like this. R in regicide stands for Raja. Uh, we all know King is called Raja in Hindi and Raja G, G I, the G I here is for Raja G with respect. We say, okay. We don't say because we don't have them anymore, but with respect, people used to say that Raja used to be called as Raja Ji. So Raja Ji ka karo, ko karo side. Raja Ji ko karo side. That is, that means killing and eliminating the king. So in common language, we use this term, Are yaar, usko side karo. Matlab, take him away from here. And this, in this case, it means Side guru means just kill him. Okay. So I know we don't use it like this, but this is how we, I am going to interpret it and you are going to interpret it in order to learn the meaning of this word. So regicide becomes very simple. R stands for Raja. And apart from this word, uh, this letter E, we have all the words here. So Raja ji ko side karo. Raja ji ko karo side is regicide. That means eliminate the king. So there is a picture also. This is a picture from um, the greatest killing of any king that was done, Louis the 16th. And that was done uh, during French revolution. So the king was beheaded by the people. And that was the greatest, uh, I can say regicide in the history. So let's move on to the next word. The next word is aviary. Aviary is uh, a large enclosure for keeping birds. 
and the part of speech is noun. So let's see the mnemonics. Let's imagine that two birds are talking. So the first bird, bird one, says, Bhai, bahar itna eri hai. Nah, hawa kyun nahi aara? So imagine the bird is saying this. Bhai, bahar itna eri hai, yaan hawa kyun nahi aara? So bird two says, Bhai, ye eri nahi. Ye eri nahi hai, kyunki ye aviary hai. So this is not eri, this is aviary. Aviary is something that is closed and obviously there is restriction and the birds are to, meant to be there. So it's kind of enclosure. And this not being airy actually gives you this feeling that the, there is a kind of enclosure and that is why the place is not airy. So that was the last word and the, you can see the image here of an aviary. And thank you for watching this. I recommend those of you who have not watched Harry Potter. You may watch it during this vacation. And make sure nobody gives you the spoiler. Because it's terrible to know the story before you actually know it. So somebody actually told me the story before I actually knew it. I actually saw it. So that was pretty bad. I knew what was going to happen. So you know that feeling of uh, curiosity goes blank so that was it for this video i hope you liked it and please rate review recommend and share and if you have anything to any suggestion to make please make it in the comment section thank you